The, the Good Practice Guide for Single Use Technology, it's really a chance to get out there and have a document that talks about what the current technology is able to offer in terms of single use and, and what the best practices are. There was no document in the industry that provided the people involved in, in bioprocessing with a step-by-step -step process to integrate single-use technology. The guide is set up in two main sections, and the first one is for the selection of components and the design of assemblies that go into single-use technology. And there are a number of activities that occur under that section that need to be done at that time. The other section is for implementation and use, and activities that, that need to occur at that phase are also outlined. So it, the guide provides the reader uh, a template to follow and streamline implementation of single-use technology. The, the top three takeaways from the ISBE uh, Good Practice Guide to Single-Use Technology are one is uh, develop a map for the implementation of single-use technologies. Uh, the second is really the whole supply chain has a better understanding of the process of integrating single-use technology in a manufacturing environment. And the third takeaway is to eliminate surprises in this uh, implementation of new technology in a standardized uh, manufacturing environment. It, for anyone that's designing a process, single-use is something that uh, they should consider and in order to have all the facts, they'll need the good practice guide. Uh, for someone in manufacturing uh, who's working with a product or a process and they want to improve that process, we should all be interested in continuous improvement, they should look at the Good Practice Guide to see if uh, single use might be a way of improving the process. <music>